Immerse yourself in the profound insights offered by Father Chuck Belmonte as he delves into daily reflections on various gospel passages from the Bible. February 5th, Monday. Caring for little things is our path to holiness. Jesus worked the miracle at Cana in answer to his mother's request. Today, let us consider the important effects of the work which those servants did, work which seemed very simple and normal, just filling up some jars with water. But it was through that work that Christ worked his first miracle and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Even when it seems unimportant, our work brims over with divine transcendence if we work for love. Ordinary Christians must seek holiness through ordinary activities. Remember that character from literature dreamed up by a French writer. He tried to hunt lions, but only in the hallways of his house. Naturally, he didn't find any. Our life is commonplace and ordinary. Trying to serve God only in big things would be like trying to hunt lions in the hallways. Like the hunter in the tail, we would be left empty-handed. Big things normally exist only in our imagination, rarely in real life. But if love is what motivates us, then in the course of our life, how many little things we will find that need to be looked after. How many opportunities for doing some small service. How many difficulties, unimportant ones, we will learn to treasure. Little things that can be difficult for us and that we offer up for a specific intention. The church, the Pope, the others, all souls. My children, I repeat once more, we will have lost our way if we spurn or reject little things. In this world, everything big is really a collection of little things. Pay attention to what is little. Concentrate on the details. This is not some sort of fixation or obsession. It is affection, virginal love, supernatural outlook at every moment, charity. Always be faithful in small things for the sake of love, keeping an upright intention without expecting to receive anything in return here on earth, not even a smile or a look of appreciation. On the other hand, love makes little things big. This is only achievable when there is love, when it is love that motivates us. And in terms of sanctity, our actions only have value when they are done for love and with love. Do everything for love, then there will be no little things. Everything will be big. Perseverance in little things for love is heroism. Holiness consists, above all, in constantly growing in our love. Our life is not a repetition of similar actions our Father has told us, for the next one should be more upright, more fruitful, more loving than the one that went before. Each day should bring new light, new enthusiasm. Love is always new. It drives out any hint of monotony and never ceases to bear fruit, particularly in one area, that of attention to little things. I would be delighted to extend another invitation for you to join me tomorrow embracing the opportunity to once again immerse ourselves in the uplifting wisdom of Father Chuck as he guides us on our spiritual journey in faith.